Never fear. Cindersh is here. I know it's been a while, but I am back. I could not stop myself from chiming in on the topic of Ultra Instinct and this new state Goku has achieved in Dragon Ball Super. Now, this video is going to be a Dragon Ball in real life video, so I'm not going to necessarily talk about the state as Goku achieves it. I want to focus on the real life version that I believe is the basis for the Ultra Instinct in Dragon Ball Super. And there is a real life form of this. In a lot of sports, it's called being in the zone. It's also known as flow. The idea being that like a river, you, you have a smooth continuity. You proceed smoothly through what's going on. There's no pausing to think. There's no hesitation. All thought goes straight into action. It's all about the flow of movement. And so this idea of flow is that you are fully invested, fully immersed, fully involved, completely absorbed in what you're doing. Now this can happen when you're playing video games. You can get so caught up in the game, you get so involved in it, Nothing else seems to matter outside of what's going on between you and the video game. Versions like this, they'll also call it hyper-focus. Which I think gives you an idea of what you're talking about here. You're so attuned to what's going on that nothing else seems to matter. Got Like a golfer putting that's in the zone. It's like they, they'll be able to see the exact line the ball's going to travel. They know exactly where to hit it, how to hit it hard to hit it and they'll just know it and do it there's no long thought, thought out process like most golfers when they're trying to take a hard putt have to do they have to sit there and think about their putt they have to walk around the course and look at it and usually they still get pretty close they usually usually still do good but when they flow they just naturally can walk up hit the stroke you'll see it in basketball where a guy all of a sudden starts hitting five threes in a row or something like that. Usually that person has found the zone. He's in the flow. you got to remember, this doesn't mean you can be in it for a long period of time. Even Goku, Goku comes out of it, snaps out of it. He fully snaps out of it because he gets exhausted and runs out of energy. But you can see there's a moment where his eyes start to become normal and then he comes back into focus. He almost went out of the flow earlier in the fight. Now what it was that actually triggered that I don't know. But the more things there are to influence you, to distract you, the more likely you are to fall back out of the zone. The less downtime you have, the less distractions you have, the more likely you can stay in the zone. And so a basketball player may go in one quarter and look super great. He'll come out and then and all of a sudden he's out of it because he lost every, all the momentum that was keeping him in the flow. He still may be playing good, but he doesn't have quite the same focus, doesn't have quite the same performance. Well, that would usually be because he was in the flow and now he's out of it. And I don't know if in Super there's this, they're going to lead you to the point where Goku can eventually get in and stay in it for an entire fight. That, I think, is really pushing the idea. But even then, if you don't have distractions for a fight, if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight and you can stay in the fight, I guess you could. Now, if you get bored with the fight, like Goku did, say, against Frieza and Namek, after he went Super Saiyan, he lost interest in the fight, he would fall back out of it because he's no longer engaged the same way he was. Because he no longer viewed Frieza as the challenge he was looking for and needed. But with Jiren, Jiren was every bit the challenge Goku was looking for and needing. And so he gained the focus... And I think he gained the focus in fighting off his own spirit bomb. He, he triggered that necessary focus to enter into the state of mind. And that's really what it is. It's a state of mind. It's not a transformation. It's not a technique, so to say. It's a different state of mind. And he entered into it. And because he had, the, he had his singular opponent to focus on, the challenge to drive him, he wasn't distracted from his task. He had the energy to keep going. All these things led to him, once he gained that focus, 
to be able to, to be in this state and do what was practically impossible even for the gods to do. And this happens in real life, and not just necessarily in sports. Like I said, it happens in other things. I actually have experienced it outside of sports. When I first got out of college, I went to try and be a math teacher. And so I spent two years, two different uh, critical needs schools. I was a young, white male, barely in my 20s, and in all black critical needs schools where these kids had no desire to be in school, didn't think they needed the education, had a strong dislike for any whites, especially a young white male. And so I had problems being an authoritative figure for them. And so sometimes that caused problems. And one time I ended up getting to the point where I decided I needed to teach two of these kids to pay attention to what I was doing. And they started kind of roughhousing a bit. And uh, you know how there are different kinds of throws you use in like wrestling and martial arts? Well, you know the one where you use your opponent's own energy against them to throw them? I don't know how to do that, but in that moment, I did it. In that moment of that short brief span of time, I rolled over a desk like you would see a martial artist roll over another person's back or something like that. I don't know how to do that either. I, I've never been able to do that again either. But because I was in focused and in the moment and I knew I could do whatever needed to be done to get these kids to settle down, I was able to to do these things that I wouldn't normally do because I wasn't thinking, well, how would I do this? My mind was all in, okay, this is happening now. We're going to do this. And that's all there was in terms of thought. The rest of it was kind of automatic action reaction to what was going on. And that's exactly what Goku is doing. That's exactly what this, this ultra instinct is all about. It's not having to think about what you're going to do. It's just the body instantly being able to know that it needs to do it and doing it. You know, there's a moment earlier in Super where Goku and Vegeta are both training with Whis. And Whis is explaining their biggest flaws. Goku, he gets bored easily. He turns his back on his opponent when he thinks the situation handled. But he's superior to Vegeta in one sense because he doesn't think as much as Vegeta does about the situation, he just kind of goes out there and fights. Which is why Goku is able to reach this state easier, I think, than a lot of other people. Because he's already kind of always been an instant reaction. Not quite to this level, not quite to this type of focus, because he loses focus very easily. Which is a big detractor for Goku to, to entering into and staying in such a state. Of such mental state but Vegeta has the opposite problem but Vegeta thinks too much so it's gonna be hard for him to even get into this state if he can ever do it he's he has too much problem entering into it because he thinks too much he overthinks everything now as a strategist that's important detail but it, it would keep you from entering into this flow mental state well that's pretty much what I want to do there is just kind of talk about the realistic idea behind this ultra instinct, explain what it is, give you the example of my own life and how I've seen it actually work before, experienced it before firsthand in a very real way. Thank you for listening. I hope you'll check out my other content. I do plan to do one more video on this ultra instinct that is more of a theory video. So I hope you'll be watching for that here in the next uh, few days, week or so. This is Super Saiyan 7 Cinders. And I'll catch you later. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super are property of Funimation, Viz TV, Fuji TV, Toei Animation. And Dragon Ball Z Abridged is the property of Team Four Star. Of course, all of it. The initial creator for them was Akira Toriyama. Please check out their content.